Hello, my name is Dr. Shantanu Sen and I'm a senior consultant in bone marrow transplant. I'll be talking to you about uh, what a bone marrow transplant or a BMT is, how it is done, in which diseases it's needed and what it involves exactly. take healthy bone marrow either from a donor or from the patient himself and infuse that into uh, somebody who needs a transplant. To recap that, the usual diseases that we treat with a BMT would be things like a relapsed leukemia or a lymphoma in which case this is about the only treatment that can offer a cure. How do we do it? We would treat the patient with major doses of chemotherapy or radiotherapy which will wipe out the disease completely. Now because we have used such doses of chemotherapy to wipe out the disease, it will also destroy the patient's own bone marrow and we would need to repopulate, grow new marrow again for him. For this we need a donor, somebody who agrees to donate marrow to the patient. This patient, who the, this other person who is the donor would need to be a perfect match to the patient. How do we collect the marrow? Usually nowadays we collect it what we call as a peripheral stem cell collection which is a very simple procedure by which the patient is attached to, with, uh, attached to a machine which skims the stem cell, skims it out from the peripheral blood. It takes about 2 to 3 hours and then the cells are given to the patient. A lot of patients have uh, interest and a query as to how the stem cells are given. It's as simple as a blood transfusion that's given to the patient. But after that, the process becomes more complicated because it takes almost about two to three weeks for the cells to grow. What are the usual diseases we can treat? We can treat relapsed leukemia, relapsed lymphoma, multiple myeloma, we can treat uh, children's diseases like neuroblastoma, uh, bone tumors like uh, osteoblastoma. We can treat various bone tumors with uh, various other solid tumors with a transplant. And then of course we can use a transplant to cure blood diseases like thalassemia, like sickle cell disease, aplastic anemia. In fact for many of these diseases this can be a lifesaver. I'll take a minute to ask you all to consider becoming a stem cell donor. This could be one of the best decisions that you have taken because you would be saving a life. Becoming a stem cell donor is very simple. You can sign up with the biggest stem cell donor registry in India called Datri and all you need to do is just we would take a cheek swab, a swab from the mouth really and we will store that. If at some point you have the chance to be a donor, we would do the same. It's not an operation, it's like collecting a blood sample for you and we can use that to actually help another sick patient somewhere. Out here at Coquilabin, we have one of the largest stem cell transplant units here in Western India and our results are about the best. I hope you have some idea now about what a bone marrow transplant is and it's taken away some of the common misconceptions and doubts that you have. Be assured that it offers you or the patient a chance of a complete cure for various cancers and various other diseases, blood diseases. It's, it's a long process but it offers the chance of your patients a complete cure a chance to defeat the disease, defeat cancer and that can only be a good thing. It will be worth going for it.